Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video for you guys. Like I said, I am trying to upload every single day for the next two weeks. So I have today my f current favorite products. I have so much to talk about because I don't do monthly favorites because I don't buy makeup every single month. Like, I would like to. I figured I would just do a whole entire current favorite on what I've been loving the past few months I do have a lot of products I'm not gonna lie so this video might be a little long so grab your snacks grab your soda whatever you want so let's get started okay so the first thing I'm gonna talk about are base products the first thing I have been loving for I believe about a month now is this new L'Oreal Hydrogenous Moisturizer you guys this makes my face feel so so good and so hydrated I got the one for normal to dry skin because I have been having bit of more dry skin than I used to so I figured I would just try this one and honestly I'm so happy I got this one because it leaves my face feeling so hydrated so nice and it's not like your normal moisturizer where it comes out thick it's like really nice how would you describe it kind of like watery consistency so I actually have really been enjoying it the next product I have been liking is the Neutrogena Sport Face Oil Free Lotion Sunscreen now I started using sunscreen under my foundation because I have been starting to get white spots on my face because of the sun because I don't protect myself from the sun and this has actually really helped me out a lot my spots have been going away slowly but they've been going away ever since I started putting sunscreen on and it says here it resists sweat off and it won't clog pores and it is water resistant. And since I was going to the water park very often this summer, this just became my best friend. The next thing I want to talk about is the Jouer Daily Repair Treatment Oil. Now, this doesn't smell the best, but it really, really works. I usually use it only at night when I'm about to go to bed. I use this and on top of that I use the Hydrogenous Hydrogenous moisturizer and by the time the morning comes my face is baby baby soft like I've never felt my skin so soft like my face ever so this has really really been working out for me so I think right now I only have two or I have three foundations that I've been really really enjoying and one of them is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation I have been using this in almost all my videos. It is such a beautiful foundation and it lasts for so, so long. I used it in my last video and I was out all day. By the time I got home, I still had my foundation in place. Uh, the next one is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. Now, I haven't been wearing this foundation because this one is too dark for me now. But when I was hitting the water park a lot, I got really dark and I was really loving this. And I got so many compliments on my face and asking me what foundation I was wearing because my my skin looks so, so good with this. It looks so healthy, so hydrated. It made my face look really, really good. And what I loved about this is it wouldn't crack in my nose area, like around here. Like, I'm already cracking a little bit from the new foundation that I tried out. But this one wouldn't crack. This It wouldn't budge. This Smashbox foundation, I really, really, really liked it. The only issue I had, oh my god, my legs are hurting, sorry. The only issue I had with this is that since I was at home when I tried it out, it was so, so hot the day I tried it out, so it literally didn't stay on my face at all. Like, by maybe the third or fourth hour, the foundation on my nose was completely... Like I was saying, by the third or fourth hour, the foundation on my nose was completely clogged. My nose, the foundation on my nose was completely gone. It was gone from my forehead. So I couldn't really give it a fair chance. But when I was applying it in like the first few hours, it did wear really, really nicely. It's not full coverage, but you can build, you can build it up to full coverage. And that's what I did. I actually honestly enjoyed the contour side more than I did the actual foundation side. But I did like both products. The... Contour side really really was good for like contouring my nose since it had like that Nice little edge at the top where you can just like you know cut it so and it blended out So nicely like it blended out seamlessly 
So I've really, really been enjoying that one. Alright, the next thing is this MAC Cosmetics Shrug Cream. Oh my god, you guys. This has become, like, my best friend. This gives me the ultimate glow under my foundation that I've always wanted. Now, here's the thing. I couldn't usually wear stuff like this before because I was so oily. So when... I would wear this on top of foundation and then my oils, it would just look like a hot, greasy mess. It was gross. But now that like my skin has changed, I have been enjoying this. I have I bought this at IMATS in January and it still has a lot. I know I'm already running out, I can tell, but it still has a lot of products and it's lasted me a long time. I literally use this every single day of my life and a little bit goes a long way, like the smallest little dot will cover your face and it gives you this nice glowy dewy look and I got those shade gold light so it gives me like a gold luminous look there I believe there are five different shades of this there's a pink one and the regular one but this one has definitely been my favorite okay so let's move on to primers I have two primers I want to talk about the, these both are drugstore primers well this one's in drugstores now I don't know if it used to be considered drugs. I am not too sure. The first one is the Maybelline Master Prime, and this one is in the shape in the. This one is in the number 100, which is the Blur and Smooth. This really helps my area, like like around my cheek area, to shrink my pores and kind of give me like a smooth surface for my foundation. That's why I really like this one. I've gone through like maybe three bottles, I believe, with this one already. This one is the One Heck of a Blot Instant Perfecting Power Primer from Soap & Glory. I do purchase mine at Walgreens because they do carry Soap & Glory now. I believe Target carries Soap & Glory too. But I really, really like this because it helps... <coughs> excuse me. It helps keep the foundation on my nose. And if you guys have seen my previous videos, videos I always complain about my nose issue like I can never really get my foundation to just stick on my nose all day long like I would like to like it cracks I get weird like markings I don't know if you guys can see it like I already have weird markings but this primer has really really helped with that so I really only use this in my t-zone like well in my nose area and I still have a lot of product left and I've had it for a few months so the next product is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer like, are you guys surprised? I don't think so. Because everybody has been raving about this. This has become, like, everybody's holy grail shape. What? This has become everybody's holy grail concealer. And honestly, I'm just, I'm just shook. I'm shook at how bomb this works. Honestly, no matter how much you put on this, it still looks flawless. I sometimes put a little, too little and then I'm like, what the heck, it still works. You know, too little or too much, it'll still look really, really good on your skin. I put it, sometimes I just do three little dots. It's good. Sometimes I go full on, and it still looks bomb. It blends out so nicely, and it doesn't crease. Now, it creases on me because I naturally crease no matter what. But honestly, it helps a lot. Like, I don't crease as much as I used to because of this. And I'm already running out, which sucks. Yeah, I'm literally, like, done. Like, it's done. So I definitely have to go and pick up more. I do want to try some of the other shades, though. Okay, I have two bronzers I want to talk about. A MAC Cosmetics Gimme Sun and the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Now, I just tried this out last week, but I already know I freaking love it. I use this one more to contour to for my skin tone. It's super, super nice. I really, really like how it works. I really like how this contours my nose. I can actually contour my nose finally. Because I've always had an issue with contouring. And then to bronze up my face, of course, I use the MAC Give Me Sun. I got this because of Desi Perkins. She always raved about it. I really, really like this bronzer. It gives me like that perfect amount of warmth back to my face after I put my foundation and my concealer. So it's, it's really, really, really good. I have a blush, and this is, okay, so I don't really wear blush, I never really have, I usually would always just do bronzer and highlight, and that's it, but I got this blush, and oh my god, it is so freaking gorgeous on my skin, I freaking love it, and it smells 
so good i don't know what is in this but it smells so bomb but it's so pigmented okay so if you use this you have to go in with a with a light hand or else yeah see it doesn't come off like this on me because i go in with a light hand but it's super super blendable and it gives me like the perfect rosy cheek glow to my cheeks <laughs> So that's what it looks like, but I go in with a super, super light hand so it doesn't come out like that. It comes out a lot nicer. I usually mix it in after I do my highlight and I mix it in between my bronzer and my highlight. Okay, let's do a facial sprays. So I have the Mario Badesco Skin Care. This is a facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. This is really, really, really good. I use this even when I don't wear makeup. And it makes my feet, it makes my face feel so 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 fresh, and it feels so good. So I usually use this. If I do use this when I do my makeup, I use it before my makeup. The next one is the is this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. You guys already know if you guys have seen my older videos, you know this is my holy grail setting spray. I love 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 this setting spray. I got the travel size this time because I wanted to get a few other things. And I'm already out and I bought this like maybe three weeks ago. But I use so much of it when I do my makeup. I used to use this all the time in every single video. No matter what other setting spray I had, I would always go for this. I remember when it was in like the white bottle too. But they don't have the white bottle anymore. They, re they, they redid the packaging to it. <laughs> the next one is a Meltdown. It's a makeup remover. It's from Urban Decay as well. It's the Meltdown Makeup Remover. It's a dissolving spray. So you spray it all over your face. It feels like oil, kind of. Honestly, like when you're spraying it, well, at least when I spray I feel like I'm not getting anything on my face. Like I don't feel anything getting on my face. But then I look in the mirror and you can see like... It's oil and it's starting to melt down your makeup. And I think it is so freaking cool to see it melt down your makeup. It's it's interesting. So the next thing I have is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony, of course. These two are my everything for brows now. I used to barely do my brows. I would use the pencil, but lightly go in and do my brows. But now... I use the Dip Brow Pomade and I freaking love how my brows look now. I've never been more obsessed with my brows and it's all because of this. And I'm already running out, which is so weird because when it comes to eyebrow products, I've never hit pan on anything or I've never run out of anything. But this has lasted me so, so long and I use it almost every day. And then of course, the brow gel. This is like everything for me. It keeps my brows in place all day long and this is also from Anastasia. And the next thing I have is this L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Primer and this is a primer for your lashes. Oh my god you guys. When I don't wear lashes, which is not every day because I don't like wearing lashes every single day, I use this and then I go in with mascara and it makes my lashes so long, so voluminous, so full and I love it. I honestly like I don't know what I was doing with my life without this before but it gives like it primes my lashes so well it separates them so when I go in with mascara they're all separated and oh my god I just I love it I love this stuff the next thing I have is this house of lashes glue it's really dirty <laughs> so I'm not gonna really put it out there but the house of lashes glue is really really good I think that's the only lash glue that really really works for me I've tried Duo, I've tried other ones. I tried the Lava Lashes one and that was complete crap. But I think the House of Lashes one is the only one that really, really works for me. It keeps my lashes on all day long and I love it and I'm already running out. Okay, so the next thing is our lip products. And I have a few of those. I have four of the Lip Land Amrezy liquid lipsticks and this is with lip land i already said that i'm already repeating myself but oh my god these you guys these are so so good and i want the other four that she has right now i have baked writer retrograde and 88 now these three are cool tone and this one's not so much cool tone but i really really like these i really like the formula the formula of these but these last forever you guys forever i can eat i can drink i can do whatever the hell i want and they stay on it's insane like i've never really had a liquid lipstick do that 
except my Jeffree Star ones. These are pretty good as well, but I really, really like these. So, speaking of a Jeffree Star, I have two of his liquid lipsticks here, and these are in collab with Manny MUA, and these are... These are in I'm Shook and Daddy, and oh my god, you guys, I love them. So I really like those cool tone colors. Can you tell? Well, this one's not so much cool tone, but this one's a gorgeous, gorgeous. I think this is, like, perfect for, like, the summer. It's just so pretty. Then I'm Shook is so cool tone, but I think this one's the favorite one out of that collection. It's, like, this brown cool tone color it's so good and this one looks like this ah! it's everything to me you guys you have no idea it's so freaking gorgeous the last one i have is the time los angeles luxe matte liquid lipsticks and these are really good too like the formula is bomb they're not drying it doesn't dry down like super matte where it feels like gross and this is, of course, this is cool tone as well. This is like a super dark cool tone purple. I love it though, you guys. It's perfect. It's perfect for the fall. Like, oh my god. And she's coming out with new ones and I cannot wait. I need to get my hands on those. So I'm going to move on to highlighters. I have a shit ton. A shit ton of, my, of highlighters that I've been loving. Like, look at this. Like... You see that? Like, they won't come off. Like, it's crazy. Like, the Jeffree Star one is like... Ugh. Okay, let's move on to highlighters. I have a few highlighters. I have a shitload, actually. I have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Seven, you guys, seven. It's crazy. So the first one is the MAC... Not MAC. Whew, not MAC. This is a Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. Oh, my God, you guys. This shit is bomb. This is what it looks like. Let's see, super, super pigmented. And for drugstore, oh my god, you guys, can you see that? <laughs> so bomb. It looks so good. <laughs> the next one is Ofra Cosmetics Rodeo Drive, and this one goes on so buttery, you guys. Like, ah, oh, it looks like butter. It feels like butter. It feels like butter. Oh, yeah, yeah. This one? It's super, super pigmented. I wore it in my last video, too, and I got so many compliments when I went out. The next one is more of, like, a bluish undertone, silver undertone, but it's really, really nice. It's the Champagne Bomb Loose Powder from Saucebox Cosmetics. Did you see that? It's like, ah! Next one, I love, 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 love it. I, woo! Oh, my God. Okay, I dropped it, but it stayed perfectly okay. Oh my god, I was going to have a heart attack. This is the Melt Cosmetics Gold Ore Digital Digital Dust Highlighter. I got this at Fame, and literally, I've been using it so much, I already put like a little dent in it. Like, it's so bomb. Let's see if I have any room here. It's just so nice, and it's so, it's like the perfect gold highlight I do pack it on a lot though cause I like packing my shit on do you guys see how bomb that is like it looks so gorgeous like, I can't get over how bomb it looks so the next one is the Smashbox and Casey Holmes spotlight palette in gold oh my god you guys obsession over here I mean well, first of all, Casey is, like, one of my favorite YouTubers. Like, I think she's, like, my number one, to be honest with you. I really, really like her. I really, really like her makeup and her videos. Can you tell I've used it a lot? Like, look how messy it is. I really like these two mixed together. These are really, really bomb. And I like this one for the inner corner highlight. She has a pearl one, too, and I do have that one. They look like this. So watch. Okay, you can kind of tell right there. But this lighting doesn't do it justice, you guys. It's just, it's too bomb. And I got her signature. I met her when she came to L.A. Oh, I was so bummed, though, because my Sharpie wasn't working. But you can still see it. Now, these, these are highlight palettes, but I actually use them as eyeshadow palettes. These are the Moonchild and Aurora Glow Kits from Anastasia. You guys, these colors are just 
out of this world. So I'm going to swatch three of these. I don't know if you guys can see. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Like, they just come off so nice. And I love this one. It has, it's like a green. And this is the Aurora palette. This one's more like crazy color ones. These are, they're super, super pigmented too. I think these are more pigmented than, um, than these. These definitely have more pigment in them. But you can tell. Sorry, my arm swatches are a little weird. They're so pigmented though, right? I don't want to talk about it too much because it is sold out and it was limited edition, but it's this beauty right here. This is the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero highlight palette. And yes, I got it signed by her when she came to LA. Now this one's a little like really, really dirty because I used it so much. I don't use it as much anymore because... It is limited edition, so I don't want to, and they're not going to restock ever, so I don't want to use too much. But you can tell, I put a dent in this one already, like straight up dent in there. It's super gorgeous. I love this one for the inner corner. I put a dent in that one too. I haven't messed around with these shades that much. I did put somewhat of a dent in this one, but this one's like cracking, so I don't really use them that much. These two right here gorgeous i just honestly like the anastasia highlights are gorgeous i haven't tried her like single shadow like the single pan ones but i've heard so hollywood is really really bomb so the last two things are eyeshadow palettes they are the take me to brazil palette i don't think they have this one anymore they have the take me back to brazil but i really really have been enjoying this i've really been venturing out of my comfort zone and into like color and all this stuff so this palette has really really worked for me so these are the four colors that I swatched they're super super pigmented and I really have been enjoying this palette it's helped me venture out more into out of my comfort zone anyways the last but not least is the Jaclyn Hill palette now this palette is so so bomb I love this I mean can you tell like look how dirty it is it's so dirty. I've used it so much. I've already made a dent in this one. I've used this, these two shades. I've made a dent in that one. Made a dent in this one. Kind of like a dent, few dents in this one. I just, I've used this all the time. Like, it's like the perfect everyday palette. But it also, like, you can use it to create so many different looks. It's insane. But right now, I know it is out of stock. I know it's coming back in stock. Oh, so you guys, that is it. Thank God this video is going to be like 30 minutes long. I'm so sorry about that. But I had so many products that I wanted to talk about. And I think I'm going to be doing current favorites more often than this. Because I don't want it to like build up again like this. And for the video to be so, so long. Let me know if you guys have tried out any of these products. What your thoughts are on them in the comment section down below. Let's talk let's chit chat all right so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel already if you haven't and click that little bell so you are notified every time i upload because i will be uploading every day for the next two weeks maybe three we'll see how it goes i'm just trying to push myself to be more active on social media on youtube on instagram trying to get the ball rolling you know how it is so yeah that's it for now i guess I'm out, you guys. Bye.